and hello YouTube and welcome back to another episode of The Zone TV Movie Entertainment with me, your host Jonathan, once again bringing you my thoughts and review for this past week's episode of The Flash, Season 7, Episode 18, and the season finale of it. So, season finale is here, The Flash over until the fall. So, spoilers if you haven't caught The Flash, so let's talk about it. So we all know that The Flash has pretty much has to deal with the evil godspeed and you know he's trying to help argus pretty much get his memory back to figure out why is godspeed coming after him he goes into his head tries to figure out talks to talk to him inside his mind but like yo man what's your problem what do you want with me why are you coming back to the past to try to get me well we find out what the main reason was we find out that um argus he wants organic speed Apparently, he has, I guess, the Velocity 9 type of version of speed. And he wants the real stuff, you know. So, he goes back in time to try to get it. Unfortunately, he gets, um, I guess, like kind of like injured. And he loses his memory. And then the Flash kind of brings back his memory to give him organic speed. And he gets his powers back. And then Flash and the team literally have to stop not only him, but his army of other godspeed creations to pretty much protect the city so we got to see a lot of cool stuff in here we got to see nora bart allen jay garrett team up with iris west so that was cool iris got her powers back and the, you know i thought she was gonna get her powers back with the velocity 10 but she got her powers back thanks to nora you know the godspeed she just snaps um, the speed force she just snaps her fingers and she just gives everybody speed so that was pretty cool. I'm pretty sure if Killer Frost was there in that room, she probably would have got speed too, just because she still had the speed force inside her from the Velocity uh, 10. Because Nora said something about like, oh yeah, if you have speed in your DNA, regardless of how small it is, I can boost it up and bring it out. So I'm pretty sure Frost would have had powers too if she was still there. But she was out fighting the bad guys with Vibe. Or mech vibe as they call him, which is kind of stupid, but I, I'm just calling him vibe. It's vibe still. Anyway, they all get powers. They all start fighting the the um the bad um Godspeed clones, and you know it was a pretty cool little scene. You know we got to see Iris do her thing. That was pretty cool. Nora and Bart did their thing. Jay Garrett, you had a cool move where he took his helmet off and he just swung it like a boomerang and just started hitting all the targets. So that was pretty cool. And then, of course, Barry at the end ended up fighting the original Godspeed because, you know, he needed to stop him officially. And, of course, he gets the help of an unliable source, Irbat Thawne. Irbat Thawne returns. He was in the negative um, speed force, apparently, the whole time. They get him out, thanks to uh, Iris. And the two of them end up taking out Godspeed. They end up using lightsabers. <laughs> With lightning, literally, kind of looked like lightsabers. So that was pretty fun to see them use, use a Star Wars reference in there. And, um, yeah, it was a very interesting moment. I do question the fact that why uh, Thong was in this, you know, the negative speed force. But, okay, so there's that. So was he hiding there because of Crisis? I, I, I'm pretty sure. But maybe that's why he didn't disappear. Maybe, maybe that's why. Maybe he knew about Crisis. And he went in there to hide to to protect them. That's my only guess, but um, who knows? We'll see what happens. And then of course he tries to betray Barry. Does not work. Barry basically admits to him, "Hey man, I'm a lot faster. Why aren't you faster?" And of course that ticked off the Reverse Flash. He leaves in anger, so he will be back eventually, hopefully faster, so that way we can see an actual proper fight between the two of them. But, um, yeah. And, of course, at the end of the episode, Barry and Iris renew their wedding vows. And, um, yeah, it ended up in a nice little way. So, it was a very simple, fun episode, you know. Um, overall, I enjoyed the season. Not the best season, but I still enjoyed it. It had some... I do wish the whole, um, Speed Force stuff didn't really happen. I kind of wish we didn't have to have that... And then tie that into with Barry and Iris' kids being in their, their kids. Like, Iris have anything to do with that. But okay, sure, whatever. But uh, the whole Godspeed stuff, that was pretty cool. But I, 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 I honestly, I am done with the Speedsters. They need to really stop with the Speedsters now. Hopefully by season 8. And if this is the last season, 
if you're going to give us a speedster, just give us a first flash. And I said, nobody else. I'm done with the speedsters. We need to stop with the speedsters. Seriously, it's, it's getting too much. Yes, I know Nora and Bart are going to be back next season. But, you know, that that's the family stuff. That doesn't count. I'm talking about villain-wise. We need somebody who's going to be a real threat to Barry and his speed. Somebody who, who can beat him. Not not in a race, but just beat him, you know, mentally, emotionally, all that kind of stuff, you know. And, um, you know, I'm glad they finally made Iris a real character. Because, honestly, I was getting sick and tired of seeing her be kind of just like, yeah, we're the Flash. And yet, she had nothing to do with anything. <laughs> she just stands in the background and say, we're the Flash and just do nothing. But now... Since season six and now this, she's been doing her thing. Although she needs to get back to her journalism thing because she needs a job. So honestly, but I think there's rumors that she might be pregnant in the next season. So there's going to be that. Ooh, speed miscarriages. Oh, no, no, sorry. Oh, mood swings, sorry. Mood swings. That's going to be a thing. Watch, that's going to happen. And there's going to be speed uh, mood swings with her. So, you know, that's going to happen because of Nora and Bart. So... Yeah, we'll see what happens with that, but, um, should be fun. I think we have to wait till November for it to return, but we'll see. So, leave me a comment below. Let me know what you guys thought about The Flash. Did you guys like this season? Hated it? Are you guys done with The Flash? Leave me a comment below. Let me know what you guys thought. Thank you very much, and have a good day.